Hello guys, this is Pansomarys36 and today I'm going to be bringing you an inbox review on behalf of Armorama here. This kit was sent out to us by MiniArt and I'm doing the review obviously for Armorama. This is their new railway semaphore which is, as you can see, a railway signal of like the 1920s to 40s era. So it's a, more of a European style. The English ones are um, different because they have like a red signal and a yellow signal. They're a little bit different but this is more like what you'd see in somewhere like Germany. So I'm going to give you guys an inbox review here and just show you what it's like. The box itself is about the normal length of a standard kit box, like a dragon, long Tamiya kind of style one. But it's only like about 5 inches wide, so it's kind of very thin and long, but that makes sense considering that this is a very thin and, thin and long object. And I did some quick measurements just looking at the spruce, and it looks to be about the same size as it's shown in the box right here, so it's about that tall. So over here we got like the part number, or the kit number I guess, mini art. On the sides here we have some advertisements for more kits that they have, so they got the um, some telegraph poles here. They have the European gauge track, and they also now have a Russian gauge track, which is slightly different. I'm not sure if this signal is accurate for a Russian railway. I doubt it is. It seems more like a European-style one, so I guess if you're going to do a diorama, you probably want these kind of tracks. And on the back, actually, we have the instructions. There's no instructions inside the box. There's just this on the back, which is... I think that's all right, um, but it's kind of maybe a little bit awkward if you're trying to have this on your workbench with you in work. It's just kind of sticking up a little bit, but that's all right. You can always just cut it out if you need to or just kind of unfold the box and just lay it down flat. So the instructions are just kind of your standard parts going together with arrows, stuff like that. Nothing uh, too special, I guess you could say. It's just kind of like the standard thing you'd see. But as you can see, they're very clear. I don't think it's cluttered in any way. Uh, maybe down here a little bit, but there's not that many parts going on at once because isn't, this isn't a very, very complicated kit or anything like that. Most of it just kind of like repeating the same step over and over again if you're putting on multiple parts or something like that. But overall, it doesn't look bad to me. It looks pretty nice. On the bottom here, we have some color callouts for any paints you might need. We have Testers, Tamiya, Humbrol, Revel, Mr. Color, and uh, just the color name, which is just black, red, and white, really. So really anything could probably do. So inside the box here, we only have one plastic bag containing everything. But as you can see, there's only, I guess, two big sprues and three smaller ones in there, as well as some clear parts and some decals. So this is what you get in the box. You have these two large sprues here. These two are the same type of sprue, and then this one here has the uh, kind of like kale box at the bottom. You have a plastic bag here that also contains some more clear parts. And you have a red, yellow, and green clear part, which are molded in like a colored clear plastic. And then you also have a string in there, which you need for the internal mechanism. And we also have some decals here. The decals just have some numbers on them. It's probably just a standard railway system. I don't understand this, but I've never tried mini art decals before, so I don't know if they're good, but I assume they're probably pretty good because they're like a modern decal and they look pretty thin and everything on there, so should be too complicated. So we've got some clear parts here. These are the colored ones. They actually look really decent, like it's transparent and everything like that. There's only one little attachment point on the side there, which are very nice. I've never actually had a clear molded color part in the kit before. We've got some more little lenses over here. These are obviously for the the, the signals on the actual whole signal itself. And we also have this here. This is some thread. So this is the string that came in the bag here. I just kind of unfolded it, and even though it was just round up and a little bit of a mess there, it's actually perfectly fine. It is smooth. No bumps or anything in it even though it was kind of just clumped up like that so it should work really well because it's nice and flexible but it's still stiff but of course not too stiff that it's all bent from being in the box here's one of the clear lenses again I think they're very nice I've never seen something like that before but I think it's a lot better than getting a clear part that you have to paint with a transparent color so that's a very nice addition now we'll have a look at the sprues here this is the actual main body of the signal itself all of these, like, uh, kind of four corners, because it's like a three-dimensional square shape, have, a, like, a nice 45-degree camphor on them, so they'll just kind of sot together nicely and should be nice. There's also uh, small attachment points in there, like you can see right around here, you can see this uh, little slot that some parts are going to stick into to make it, you know, stick together. We have tabs over here. So looking at the edges here, we don't, I don't really see any flash or anything. There might be a little bit 
It might be a little bit right there. I'm not sure if that's actually the part though. But overall, these look like they're very nicely molded. We do have attachment points along the length of them there, but nothing on the inside. And uh, it looks like we'll be able to preserve most of the detail when we actually build the thing up. On this sprue, we also have some more parts of the signal, mainly the uh, signal arms here and the mechanism. So we have a bunch of little gears and things like that over here that look very nicely molded. I like how they've actually had the sprue gates offset. So if you can see over here, the sprue gates are instead of attached at the gear itself, they're kind of attached to the side of it on this end. So they kind of stick off. And that way you will not lose the actual molded teeth detail if the sprue gate was just kind of like stuck into it. So that's actually pretty cool. More nice rivets over here. Everything looks nicely molded. I don't really see any flash or anything on the plastic. It's just lots of little parts in this sprue though. You can see there's tons of these little bits of the mechanism. So over here we have some very long parts as you can see. These are really long arms that kind of just are more of the mechanism on the inside which controls the signals. Uh, th some of these are really thin, especially these like connecting arms here. And there's lots of attachment points as you can see. If you're going to cut these off the sprue, I recommend you kind of cut the sprue itself and also the part instead of just cutting it at the points because otherwise that part will flex and most likely break. If you can kind of cut the sprue around it, you can have the sprue flex as well when you actually do the cut. So it's less likely that the part's going to break. If it does, you can always just replace that with some styrene rod or metal rod. I might do that actually. Uh, it just kind of depends on how easy it is to clean up. But the molding points look very small. It just is a lot of them on all these parts here. So that might be a little bit of downside. So this sprue here contains just a small little mechanism at the bottom, which I'm sure is kind of like maybe like the motor that works all the pistons, or not pistons, but the arms and stuff inside the machine. So. I'm not exactly sure how a signal works in real life, I've got some idea though, but it's just kind of like a little box here with some details on it. Just a few parts here, I guess six parts. Looks nicely molded. I haven't seen any really pin marks. Got a little bit there, but nothing on, on the exposed surfaces on this kit so far, so that looks pretty good. So for example, looking back at this sprue, there's no pin marks on these signal arms at all. Even though they're big flat pieces molded on both sides that are exposed, there's actually no pin mark or anything like that on them, so that looks really cool. Lastly, we've got two of these little sprues here. These are just more parts of the mechanism, obviously, as well as some steps and things like that. Little brackets here, they're very, very small. And I think, what is a lantern? Probably actually the, um, probably supposed to be the light for the signal itself or something like that. Overall, the moldings look actually really nice. I haven't seen any flash on, on any of these small parts, at least. There was a little bit on some of the longer parts I showed you earlier, but on these small bits here, on the small sprues, I haven't seen any flash at all. Everything looks really nicely molded, as you can see over here. So to conclude, I think this kit looks really nice. No real issues overall with it. Might be a little complicated for some people because there's lots of little parts in there and also some very long ones that are maybe a little fragile to cut off the sprue. But if you know what you're doing, if you've done like antennas and parts like that before, then you shouldn't really have any issue because you might have a, a technique down for cutting this off the sprue in a way that won't break them. So I'm going to have to uh, get, get some of this railway track as well because I'm going to do a little bit of diorama with this. And after I'm done building this whole thing, I will do a video where I explain how good it was to build. I call it a post-build review where I talk about the kit after it's built. And I'll give you guys another idea of what it's actually like to build instead of just what the parts are like in the box. But looking at what's in the box, I think this will build up pretty nicely. And I'm looking forward to it. Only thing I might have trouble with is um, I'm crappy at masking. So I'm going to have to make some little circle masks there and mask up all that stuff. Because there's white on the inside, but there's red on the outside. Uh, but that shouldn't be too hard overall. So I'm looking forward to it. A big thank you goes up to Armama for sending me this kit and also to MiniArt for supplying it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you think it looks interesting. I will do a video, as I said, after it's built up, explaining how it was to build and I'll also post on Armama. So, as always, thanks for watching very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is PantsMice36 and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.